Hi crafty cuties, hope you're having an excellent Sunday. I am back at it with another quick plan with me, or I intend for it to be quick. And I'm going to actually go out of the norm and use a bunch of different stickers. I'm going to use this set from You Gotta Craft That. I love Amy's stickers, super cute, so I'm going to use those. I'll probably use some from the Fabulous Designs. I think this one is also from Fabulous Designs. And then I think I'm going to use these laundry ones and maybe a few random ones from here. I did go ahead and put the washi on because it does take me 12 years and I thought I would use some new washi that I haven't used yet. And I'm just gonna go to town. I was just thinking that I should actually be filming another bullet journal video to share with you guys. Um, but I already had this stuff out, so I will film another bullet journal. You guys seem to like the one that I already had out. If you don't know, I use a bullet journal also. Um, and I don't really necessarily use it for planning. I use it for, like, to-do lists and, um, some different trackers and challenges. Just kind of random stuff. I do make weekly layouts in the bullet journal once in a while. Um, it honestly just depends. Like it's super flexible and I don't stress about it. I just use it, you know, when I can, when I have time, when it's convenient for me. So I'm just going to be kind of random about this. So we just got back from a birthday party. You know what, I don't usually use these squares and maybe I'm supposed to do them down so that there's room for like a header, I don't even know. Anyways, we just got back from a birthday party and it was super fun, but I have a lot of stuff to do now. The sun is going down and I was running out of time, so here we are. Okay, so Let's see, I feel like this looks all super off-center. So here, what I'm going to do is do one more here. The only thing I'm not sure about is how the heck do I write on these? Like, what do you guys do if you use the boxes? I don't usually use these box stickers, but I thought I would just try it out. Definitely more of a decorated look than anything. Well, shoot, I don't think I want to do that. I'm going to put you down here, girl. I don't know. Yeah, I feel like if I use the boxes, then I have to use either... A bunch of them or or spread them out like just right but I love this one it has little flamingos on it so I kind of want to use that maybe I'll use it over here on the side here and then I can write some things in it I think that's what I'll do because that's really cute okay maybe we will go like let's see here we will do, I'm going to actually put it over here by this so that I can kind of make this a, a little to-do list type of thing. Whoops, that was very crooked. And then I love this. I think it's super cute. A little deco sheet, I think. Although I wonder, yeah, it'll go. Very pretty. And these little flamingos are cute. You guys, I just made some flamingo planner clips. I don't know if they will be in my shop by the time I have this video up, but oh man, super excited. I've wanted to do them for a while, but I needed my husband to help me. He helps me a lot. Like if I need something to be drawn up, um, he's actually the one that usually does it for me. Oh man, I just ruined that sticker. That's okay. But. He's, he's quite crafty, so. Let's see here. I feel like this kind of blends in. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? We'll go like this. I don't know, I'm kind of feeling like this looks super random. These stickers come off really easy though. I do appreciate a good sticker. <laughs> okay, <clears throat> so. I, oh man, I am so bad at this. I just ripped this one it, and it was a great sticker. It was my fault. So I'm gonna put this little tassel over here. That's a bummer. 
Oh well, it'll still work. Okay. And the lighting has changed. I honestly think this is about all that I will do with this. Um, I really just needed to get this week decorated so that I could start writing stuff in because I have a lot to write in this week. Okay, and I have so much laundry to do. And so we're gonna put this over here on Monday and I better stick to it. Yeah, sometimes I'll use my bullet journal for like to-do lists um, because a lot of times my to-do list does, I don't know, it doesn't really fit in my planner. It just depends on the week, honestly. And I always need to go to the post office on Monday, so we'll go like that. Just to try to use these out. I don't use a lot of these type either, but there we go. Okay guys, I think I'm just gonna keep it that simple. I'm going to use my little shaker clip this week, and I don't even have a journaling card picked out. I like to use a journal card every week so that I can write down a little memory for that week. And that's another thing I use the bullet journal for is uh, writing down memories. Sorry that got pretty loud right there. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you guys just have a lovely day. I need to poke holes right here. I'm gonna do it the lazy way. You guys ever have these weeks? I haven't had a week yet where I don't decorate my planner just a little bit. Um, I really, really enjoy it. And you guys seem to like these videos, so I will keep it up. Let me know down below if there's anything you guys want to see. I have promised you guys a handful of videos, which I have on one of my to-do lists, and I hope to get up caught up on those. I have an embellishment video, a layered tag video coming. Um, one that's a big one is a the DIY stamp positioner, which I promised you guys a while ago, but we actually just got the hinges in the mail that my husband needed. He's the one who makes it. So now all I have left to do is to film him making it. So I hope to get that out to you guys soon, but I will talk to you in the next video and I hope you have a lovely day. Love you guys. Bye.